Hey, everybody. I have a fun recycling project for you. I am taking actual trash, junk mail envelopes, cutting the corners off of them. You can see that fun pattern on the inside. Think of all these free art supplies you get every single day in the mail. Cut the corners off of these, and you have a ready made corner bookmark that you can do some art on and use just as a practical object in your everyday life. So I'm starting with my five by seven gel press and I'm using some ink that is actually discontinued and my apologies about that, but I am investigating a replacement because I love these inks so much. So as soon as I get to test the ones I'm replacing them with, I will let you know. Standard acrylic inks do not perform the same way that these discontinued inks do. So that's kind of a bummer. But you can do this process with anything. You can do it with paint. You can do it with ink. It really doesn't matter. So I have a scrap of punchinella. You could also use drywall tape, bubble wrap, anything to create texture. And I'm just lifting a pattern out of the ink that's down on the plate. So I will take my little corner bookmarks and place them down into the wet ink with the pattern in it. And there is a tutorial in case you're interested on how to create your own corner bookmarks. That is at splitcoaststampers.com. I'm using 100% junk today <laughs> and upcycling. But if you do want to create these out of pattern paper, magazine pages, etc. We do have a real simple tutorial for you over there. I'm placing a piece of copy paper on top to make sure that I can really press the little envelope corners down very well into the ink and get perfect adhesion of the ink. This also creates a pattern on a scrap. I'll show you the full thing later on that would be great in an art journal, a junk journal, anything that you would like to collage that into because you're getting all that patterned goodness that you see here when I pull the little bookmarks up off of the gel press. So this is what they look like. They almost look like little galaxies to me. I love this look so much. It has like textures, like little bubbles that look like stars. And the way that these primary colors mix is just magic. And it's different every time. You can't predict it. But look at those little star-like dots in there. It's so pretty. So now that I have one side of all four corner bookmarks coated, I will do the second side. And because they look so radically different from each other, I have no idea what this other side is going to look like. But I'm going to just use the same technique, just a very few drops of this ink. With this particular ink, you don't need much at all. And having the primary colors there ensures that you get a little rainbow mixing action, which is going to be more prominent on this side than it was on the first side, which is mostly pinks and purples. So I, this is the little pattern sheet. I'm going to place it in a different orientation the second time around. But if you really wanted to make the most of your printing session, think of the bookmarks as masks and deliberately create a pattern on the plate that is going to have you lift that copy paper that you're using up with a deliberate pattern on it. I'm also taking the extra ink off of my brayer and I'm rolling it off in my art journal. I love cleaning my brayer in my art journal because it starts pages for me really quickly. And I'm also pressing the inked punchinella onto that page as well. That just really helps you get past the intimidation of that white blank page in an art journal. So I will put the blank unprinted sides down. And here you can see what I mean, where I could create a deliberate pattern with the placement of what is essentially these four masks. 
and then get a very deliberate print in kind of a two for one process as you're creating the bookmarks. Because they're triangles and they're fun, this could end up being a really fun layered print if you were doing several sets of these bookmarks. So you just want to make sure that you have really good pressure so that you're transferring 100% of the ink to the bookmarks. Luckily, junk mail envelopes are usually a very absorbent surface. They're not slick. So this really works extremely well without a lot of work on your part. So I will pull this off and you'll see what the double printing does. It creates this fun geometric sheet that's just going to look great in an art journal. I couldn't have done that deliberately if I tried. <laughs> so I'll pull these up and these are so thin. It's such thin paper that you will just be really careful when you're lifting them up and see what I mean about that rainbow look on the back. You can see the Punchinella detail. You can see all of those colors and it just looks great. And that's just kind of the surprise of where you put the ink on the plate versus how, what your brayer does, etc. So you never really know how that's going to come out. And I think that that's a lot of fun. So here again, the Punchinella is more prominent. Rainbows are more prominent. You get that fun galaxy texture in there. That is a pretty fancy piece of trash, if I do say so myself. When I was finished with these bookmarks, I did let them dry completely. I love how the printing where it says recycled paper shows through the bookmarks. I think that's fun. But when I was done, just to give them a little more longevity, I did coat them all with matte medium before giving them away as a gift in my buy nothing group and one of the recipients of the bookmarks I gave them to a few different people she said she even laminated and then cut across the bottom so it was a very sturdy plastic and she could preserve that design but corner bookmarks are such an easy and pretty and fun bookmark and the fact that the junk mail envelopes are thin makes it work even better as a bookmark because it's not going to be something bulky in your book so here's what these look like Finish. They are like beautiful little galaxies. And thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.